Hello and welcome back to Mega Reacts. Today we're going to be watching The Crow 2024 official trailer. I do not usually watch trailers. Not really my thing, but this is an exception. It has to be The Crow, the original Crow. When it came out, I was there opening night. The Crow was my favorite movie. It is still in my top five but as a teenager, I lived and breathed The Crow. The comics, the movie, I was obsessed with the movie. I've probably seen it over 500 times throughout my life. I had figures. I Like I said, I've had comics. I currently, my favorite one is this hardcover Crow. And it is actually signed by the author with a little uh, note there. And it's got that wonderful picture of Brandon Lee. Now, I'm going into this, like I said, as a hardcore Crow fan. There will always be one true Crow. It is Brandon Lee. He made the role his own. He was fantastic. He passed away during the filming. I'm sure everyone knows. And it was a tragedy. But does that mean that this wonderful story should never be told again? I don't think so. I'm willing to keep an open mind for a good Crow movie. Now, we have yet to have another good Crow movie. All of the sequels have been trash. They've been either cheap knockoff trying to recreate the magic or just plain old cheap. But I'm willing to give this trailer a shot. I'm willing to see what they have done. I hope it is very different than the original movie. The source material, the comic, there's so much to pull from that if they limit themselves to the movie, even though the movie, as I've said, fantastic, all-time favorites, top five now, top one until my early 20s. Like That was a long time I was obsessed with The Crow. That's what I'm trying to say here. So I have to watch this trailer. I have to give my, hon my honest thoughts. And yeah, so... Nothing really else to say. Let's just get into this trailer. But before we do, come on this crazy journey I am on. To do that, you have to like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link also in the description below. This is Mega. Let's get into it. There's the crow. What's the first thing you liked about me? I thought that you were quite brilliantly broken. You hey now. Person. I'm pausing it already. <laughs> It is what it is. I like this actor. I don't much care for his look so far. I think I've seen some other people compare him to Jared Leto's Joker. It is a fair comparison based on just visuals. All right. Let's keep going. You feel like my bus. What's the worst thing you've ever done? Smoking a J? Oh. I've seen any of it. Okay. Witness to a crime. Hey! Shelly! Oh, Please don't do that! Oh, God. What a way to go. What a way to go. Okay. Oh, God. We're pausing it already. I got one major issue right out of the gate. Why do they have the same names? I know, I know why, but why? If if you're trying to make something completely different and separate from the original Crow movie, which you cannot compare yourself to, let's all be honest, there's no comparing to the Brandon Lee Crow movie. It is phenomenal. Should have went with different names because it's already making me think about the other movie. Uh, and also, horrible way to go. Suffocation while you're looking at each other. My God. Setting it up for some good vengeance, though. Are right. okay, okay. Is that Ozzy? Sounds like Ozzy. A crow carries their soul to the land of the dead. But sometimes something so bad happens that the soul cannot rest. Ah, uh, not a big fan of the slow motion pushover. Until you put the wrong thing. Guy Ritchie right. did it better. You 
You were given the power of a god. Who in the hell is God giving him the narration? But you're running out of time to save her. Oh! I'm gonna oh. kill them. Every single one of them. I killed you. Yeah, you did. We have a problem. He came for us. <laughs> He's back. Oh, we got the ninja sword. Okay. I mean, ninja swords are cool. We love a katana in a revenge flick. It's not anger. It's love. What you become? You know that love promises only pain. You have no idea what hell awaits you. Oh, that was pretty cool. No, I do. How many people have you loved? I'll never be alone. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We're going we're to have to go back over this trailer. So, okay. My initial thoughts. Why is this a Crow movie? Honestly, the concept. You come back to life to avenge, you know, a dead loved one. Okay, I get that's very Crow-like. Shouldn't have been a Crow movie because it looks really awesome until I remember it's a Crow movie. And then I instantly think, ah, it's not, eh, I, I don't know if I care for this. I don't care for the black blood. I don't care for the hundreds of crows hanging around. I don't care for the guy giving narration who seems to be filling you in on all of the, all of the crow magic and how it works. It looks visually fantastic. And the acting is probably great, though the accent, I don't know, Bill Skarsgård, that accent, I, I, I don't know if I like it. It looks really good, but being it's a crow movie, it's it's throwing me off. I'll be honest, it's throwing me off. But let's uh, let's go back here. Let's look. All right, so we got them getting killed. I mean, a brutal way to go. A brutal way to go. I mean, it really sets up how much you're gonna hate these bad guys. So that's good. That's good. We love hating the bad guys, you know. And what else? Then we got this. We got. We got Mr. Narration Dude. Who is he? Is he the embodiment of the crow's power here to explain what it does? Is he just some random old dude who seems to know all? I don't know, but you know what? It's not needed. I like that in the original crow, there was no explanation. He just came back and it was. And it's like he understood his purpose just through actions and where the crow led him. It, it was fantastic. So having a dude kind of explain it all out, I mean... Shelly, as a kid, explained it to the audience, but it was not explained to the character. You got what I'm saying? I think you got what I, I think you got what I'm laying down. Uh, we got him falling back in slow motion. Ah, ah. Guy Ritchie does it better. It's been reproduced many times. Guy Ritchie in Snatch, the ultimate. And Mickey fell in water too, even though it was metaphorical water. It was pretty cool though. Uh, <laughs> uh, we got him coming up out of the water all jacked up and all the tattoos it's a little much and the mullet you had to go with a mullet my dude I don't know how I feel about that where's the scene where he was like crying black ink I don't know I guess it was blood I mean he gets a katana or is that a smaller what is the smaller katana called I don't even know but okay it's a good weapon. You got a decent look here, but not thrilled. I mean, that does look pretty cool. I will admit, but he looks like looks like he's going to a Cure concert, not going to fight crime as the new Crow. Ah, I don't know. I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted. I really like this trailer. 
I really like the concept. I like what this movie is going to be until I remember it is a crow movie. And then it just ruins it for me. They should have just made it some other. He comes back for some other reason. There's a million reasons someone could be brought back to life to avenge the dead. There's got to be hundreds of folk tales and and stories and folklore and and just make some shit up if you want to. I don't know. And true love, it's all about love. That is correct. It is all about love. And then here, what is he got like black blood? Like I I don't care, but maybe it's because he's dead. His blood cells aren't living. They aren't taking in any oxygen. So it's just black blood, maybe, possibly. Don't know. Uh, the makeup, though. Uh, all right. I guess I got nothing else to say here. All right. We're going to leave it on that image there. Okay. So my thoughts on the Crow trailer. It looks like a pretty good action flick with some undertones of kind of gothic horror and love and revenge and all of that is swell. I like this actor. He's a great actor. It looks visually stunning. The makeup, the costuming, all the actors seem to be fantastic. It looks like it's going to be a pretty good movie. If you're looking for a action movie with some horror, horror undertoned with some romance, should it have been made? Is it going to be better than the original Crow? There's no way. No way it's going to be better than the original Crow. I'm going to give it a chance when it comes out. I will watch it and react to it. I feel obligated. It looks better than any other Crow movie we've had since the original. I'll give it that. But I think giving the characters the same names, big mistake. That is the beauty of the Crow, of the story of the Crow. It doesn't have to be Eric and Shelley. There were people before Eric and Shelley. There will be people after Eric and Shelley. Tell a different tale, which is kind of what you did, but then you give them the same damn name, and it ruins it for me. Takes me right out of thinking it's its own tale and takes me right back into comparing it to the 1994 Crow with Brendan Lee, which this cannot top and will never top, and I'm kind of pissed now that I'm thinking about it. Why did you give him the same name? That's my biggest complaint. That's You know what? That's what takes me out of the whole damn thing. I'm going to watch it. Should have had different names. That's that's my biggest complaint about this trailer and this version of The Crow. Should have been different names. The only tie to the original movie should be that a crow brought someone back to get revenge. It does not have to be Eric and Shelly. You drop the ball. You give them the same names. That's your big fuck up. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed whatever this was. If you did, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega uh, signing off, I guess. Why'd you give him the same name? Ah, oh, it ruins it.